So today I will be going over how I get prepared for kayak fishing tournaments. Um, last season was pretty much a disaster because it was my first year kayaking and stuff. Um, like I would say, I'm from Florida, did have a few boats back home, but didn't bring them up. So I got into this kayak fishing through a coworker. But this year I'm a little bit more prepared. Um, did a lot of research and figure out ways to kind of make myself comfortable fishing in the kayak. So I'm just going to go over everything that I do and get prepared for this upcoming season. So stay tuned. All right, so let's start off with life jackets. So last year I purchased this life jacket here. Uh, let's see, from Bass Pro there. It's about anywhere between 20 and 35 bucks, I would say. Now, this jacket here, I mean, it works fine, but being that I'm in a kayak, it's kind of uncomfortable. So, um, it's really bulky. It has a lot of padding in the back here, as you can see. And it just doesn't feel good. Now, I would say one of the good things about it is it got all these compartments on it, so you can always put your your knife in it or your phone or whatever however I would say my phone did fall out one time because I forgot to zip it up um, which is crucial because using Tourney X you have to take pictures of your fish um, but I mean if you got a bass boat I think this is perfectly fine to maneuver around the lake and keep everything rolling so I won't be using this this year but instead I upgraded to this now this here was about, I think, 115 or something like that from Bass Pro as well. And this definitely is a game changer for me. Real comfortable. Boats up pretty easy. You know, in case I do need to use it, all I gotta do is jerk it, pops out, and I'm good to go. And it is active. I do have my tank in the inside, so this was definitely a upgrade for me. Um, let's see. What else I got? <clears throat> Paddles. I started using a paddle from Deep Sporting Good. It was about 60 bucks. Um, it wasn't fiberglass, by the way, so it was kind of heavy. So I upgraded to this Ascend paddle from uh, Bash Pro as well. This one was about, I would say, I don't know. 90 bucks 80 to 90 bucks um definitely a game changer really light a lot lighter than the last one i love it um highly recommend it i would say i do have the longest one and i think it is 240 centimeters i believe something like that so this here is something new for me so real quickly, I'm going to pause here for a second and then go over something from a previous video. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So let's jump into the uh, giveaway portion of the video. So we have Martin O'Brien with the Packers, Sean Jesse with Arkansas Razorbacks and Dallas Cowboys, and Josh, Josh with the Green Bay Packers. I figure I have a few Green Bay Packers fans. Uh, um, Arkansas Razorbacks, definitely unique. Jordan Lee, our leader coming into um, this day, let's like see. Expanding on this area. So let's do this. Let's, let's go to a random yeah, name picker. Let me put in these names here real quick. All right. So you all can see. So we got. Everybody name in there. I did add Jesse and Sean and there's a separate name, so it kind of evens out the playing field. So here we go. Alright, Jesse. Alright, well, you're definitely the winner. Uh all you gotta do is I will comment on this video here and uh, message you my email address shoot me your address and I will send you some stuff uh, let's see
Definitely sending some of these here. I got a, a few more things that I'm sending. Uh, send my car here, but these are rod holders. Um, I accidentally purchased like 20 of these things, so don't need that many. I don't have that many rods. They're all different colors, though. But shoot me an email in my email, and I will get you the stuff within a week, week and a half, whatever. Um, but anyways, thanks for commenting, and uh, let's say, hey, for the next video. Well, not next video. On this video, all you have to do is share my video and let's see. Tell me your fav favorite dog. Um, but I love dogs. This is definitely uh, um, my son here. Up, up. Get up here. <laughs> Four years old. American Bulldog, he's about 115 pounds. Um, good boy. Haven't taken him on a kayak yet, but we'll definitely get out this year. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe and share the video, please. Thanks. So, now I would like to go over what I use to fish with. Um, not really going to go in detail about the type of lures and all that stuff, but just how I travel lightly when I'm kayak fishing. So, um, here consists of all my crankbaits, um, little fish crankbaits, uh, what, what I would say, um, whopper ploppers, a few things like that there. All my hooks and lead in here. Hey, how's it going? Hey, chill, Spot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just just going over a few things to get ready for this fishing tournament here coming up. Huh. It starts uh <laughs> before I was interrupted. That's my um neighbor's son and he's uh he's really um cool little kid, man. I honestly I don't even know his name, but he literally just walked up in my yard, which is fine, so maybe I can get him into kayak fishing. But back to the lures. So Here's my hard baits. Um, just to go over a few, I got uh, let's see some Missouri crankbaits. It's a deep diver crankbait here, as you can see. The bib is pretty long. I have caught fish off of this. Uh, a few lipless crankbaits by Rapala, and a few other crankbaits on this side here. Flip on to the other side. Got another deep diver crankbait here. This one is about I would say 10 to 15 feet. Um, another Yozuri suspended bait caught a lot of big fish on this um, you know your whopper plopper and a few more lipless crankbaits um, this stuff here I would say these are my all my go-to's um, I do have a few more in the house but uh, I don't really spend that much money on hard plastic hard baits but this is what I basically use here um, and here is all my lead and hooks. This here will stay in my center console so I can easily get to it and change out my hook or whatever. Um, these are all the soft plastics. Uh, I have these cast lures here. Really great. Um, they didn't come in red. It's more of a shag color, but I do make my own lures, so I did add a little red to it. Um, let's see. All these are here are lures that I make real quick. Make a few swim baits, a few sink sinkos, and uh, crawfish. But just quickly, these are one of the swim baits I made. It's kind of a funky color. I was just bored and just mixed some stuff together and threw a bunch of glitter in it. But have caught fish on that. Sinkos here as well. Um, what else we got? few of the crawfish I make which I have caught fish on these this is another funky color here this is also a funky color I don't really spend much money on soft plastics I just make them in my garage and keep it moving that way and what else we got in this little compartment here got a few more top water things here this is a popper mainly using salt water but probably will use the fresh water uh, uh, what is this called? Give me a second, it's coming to my mind. Jigs. <laughs> Swimming jig here. Another jig here. A couple more jigs. And another crankbait here as well. 
Um, this is a Yozuri crankbait as well. So spins really great. This is one of my go-tos. I fish this thing here probably more than anything in my tackle box. Let's see. And that's pretty much it. Like I say, I travel real lightly. Um, you know, being on a kayak, you don't really have that much space anyways. And my kayak is a feel, feel free moking, so. I mean, I do have a few compartments, but again, I learned my lesson from last season by not having stuff in storage and all that good stuff. Last year, I fished the whole entire season without a crate, which I picked up at Big Lots for like $2.40. Um, but other than that, I'm going uh, to do a real little quick walkthrough over the kayak. Oh, yeah. Rods and reel. So if you're definitely new to this, I advise you to get at least one spin cast. Or if you like to throw only spin cast. But I'm a bait caster guy. I only like to throw bait casters. But I learned last year when you're getting beat, beat up by the wind and sitting down in the kayak, you can't really cast as far as you want. So... I purchased a spin cast here, and uh, I really like it. And this is my big, big cast here I purchased as well. Um, I got another one in the house, but I'm doing some work to it. So, and this one here is already set up to go because, like I say, I start fishing tomorrow morning. I'm probably gonna get up at like 4:30 and get to the lake, um, so I can get this thing to pop and get on the leaderboard really fast. And another big thing too, if you're fishing tournaments, I got this hawk trough here. Uh, it's a few of them out there if you want to know, like all the major brands. Um, there's some other people that talk more about that. I don't really know too much to talk about them, but I got the one that was registered through my kayak club. And it's, this one is registered through a lot of kayak clubs, so it's uh, a Hagen's hawk trough here. And I, I forgot how much I paid for it, maybe $15 or something like that. Now I will need to go in and mark all my lines up again this tonight with a permanent marker so you can clearly see how many inches I have. But other than that, you need one of these. And a net of some sort. There's a ton of different nets out there, but I'm just going over the basic stuff. Alright, so stay tuned and I'm going to stand up and walk around the whole entire kayak. All right, so this is pretty much my basic setup. Now, I would say I don't have my seat in here, but as you can see, this is my setup. My fish finder goes right there. My paddle on the right side here. This is all the stuff that I will be taking when I'm fishing. Nothing more. Um, like I said, I like to travel lightly and to just keep everything a little bit more spacious in there. Um, in the center console, I usually put uh, keep my phone there when I'm while I'm fishing, you know. Whistle, my fishing license, most of all the important stuff. Maybe a bottle of water too, and that's pretty much it for right now. Um, up until Saturday when I fish that tournament at Fox Lake, I'm going to only carry two rods. I will be adding a third one there, which is that one right there. That's the rod the reel is in the house that I'm working on right now. But this is pretty much it. Extremely light. And on a scale of 1 to 10 for this feel free moping, I would give it a. I definitely would give it a 8.5. The only thing that I really don't like about it is the seat. The seat kind of sits too low, which I like it and I don't like it. But other than that, definitely a 8.5, 9. Honestly, I give it a. Nine five, seventy pounds. I can throw it up on top of my Subaru and keep it moving. I don't have to pull a trailer or none of that good stuff. So very easy for me. Um, oh, also, if you don't know anything about an anchor trolley, you definitely need one of these. Um, my anchor trolley, uh, I hooked up myself, and I use a, a five pound weight or either a chain when I'm fishing rivers probably about a two foot chain and the weight i use when i'm fishing deeper water and the wind is whipping pretty bad and i want to anchor down kind of off on a point and try to catch some of those big boys but this is pretty much it here
but hey thanks for watching subscribe um i hope you enjoyed the video uh soon or uh, sooner or later i will be getting a better camera which i'm doing everything from my phone and uh yeah so hopefully we have a good season here i will keep these videos coming and uh thanks for watching